Hello there, you fantastic beast. How you doing? You're looking great. Me? Let me just address the elephant in the room. The beard. I know. I'm aware. It's a thing. And it's growing wild. So actually, this brings up uh, one topic, which isn't the main topic, but still, might as well start with some levity and then we'll get into the serious stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be shaving this puppy next week on Twitch, on my Twitch specifically. I'll put a link down there so you can check it out. Actually, in, in lead up to that, if you're watching this video currently as it was released, uh, then you should go to Twitch right now because I'm, I'm currently streaming there as well, probably being terrible at video games as usual. We have a really lovely community on Twitch. I love Twitch. Now I'm gonna go on a Twitch tangent. Twitch is a great place. You can actually interact in a much different way than you can on YouTube, and I really love that. Uh, and to take that a step further, I actually created a Discord as well with a lot of help. So I have a Discord too. I'll put a link there as well. All these things, look at that. Anyway, what I want to talk about is, well, it's something I've been thinking about a lot. In our current situation of where we are in the world, a lot of us were placed into something that, you know, we had to deal with. We didn't necessarily want, we weren't expecting it, but we have to deal with it. And I think the dealing with it part is very important because this goes back to four and a half years ago almost now, when, as you probably know, at the end of 2015, I was diagnosed with cancer. And I spent the end of the year having surgeries and then the beginning of the year of 2016, physical therapy, uh, treatment for the cancer, having to go in five days a week for treatment, getting my blood drawn all the time, getting scans, all this stuff. And that lasted for a while. I mean, for an entire year, all of 2016, I would be in the cancer center at least every week. And that was my life for a year. And the thing that I thought about a lot was something that we don't tend to really think about, which is death. This is gonna be an upper, eh, it probably won't be. We all know that at some point we are going to die, but we tend not to think about it. Instead, we focus on hobbies or friends or activities. We do other things to push that out of our minds. So it's always in the back there, but it's not really the focal point. And we never spend a lot of time really thinking about dying. But for a year, it's what I thought about every single day. I thought about it every day. Um, and I wanted to, to share with you what I learned from that, what I learned from that year. And it still happens a little bit. I mean, every, every year now I've gotten, luckily, you know, my cancer's been in remission for a while. Um, but it is something that I still have to think about because now I'm on a yearly schedule where I go in to get all my scans and x-rays and blood drawn and all that stuff. And two weeks leading up to that, those thoughts come back. They move from here to here. And I think about it a lot. What, what am I going to lose? What am I grateful for? What do I still want to accomplish? Am I, am I satisfied with what I've done, with how I've treated others, with the impact, no matter how small that I've made on the world? But regardless of those two weeks that lead up to those scans, those tests that determine if I'm gonna have cancer again or not. It's something that has stuck with me and that's what I wanna get across here is that what I learned from having cancer was to not be so critical of others' opinions, of others' feelings, to be more open, to be more honest, to be just better. Did I want cancer? No. <laughs> was it something that I enjoyed having? No. Am I happy that I had it? Yes. And the reason why is because I think that it has made me a better person. I wish it didn't take something like cancer to do that. But, you know, sometimes a small shake isn't enough. You need a, a really big one. And that's the thing that I realized while sitting in hospital beds, while sitting in dimly lit rooms having tests done or having treatment done to me. I thought about that. I thought about how can I be better? Not just in who I am and how I treat people, but in the things that I create. How can I make myself proud if today or tomorrow or the next day is my last day, right? We all have an expiration date, but sometimes you get a clearer idea of when that is than others. And I felt like I truly did have a very fastly approaching expiration date. So, there's always that line that you can tell somebody's character by how they treat others that are deemed below them. And I do below them in air quotes because I, I generally don't feel that anyone is below anybody else. Uh, your job doesn't dictate your worth. Your income doesn't dictate your worth. I, I firmly believe that how you treat others dictates your worth. And you should always be kind to people because you never know what kind of day they're having. You don't know their personal struggles. You have no idea. And you have to be conscious of that and aware of that. 
when dealing with others. And, you know, I used to be, I'm not saying that I was like a terrible person. You know, I could be mean. As I've gotten older, that has lessened. And I, now I try to just be not so dismissive. You know, and this is in little ways, not nothing huge. I'm not talking about like ideological things here because I've always been fairly open-minded with that, but I, I think it's more of, oh, you listen to this kind of music? Well, I don't like that. Well, maybe I'll listen to it. You know what, I will listen to it. Because why not? Maybe it's not my cup of tea, but there could be something of value there. And it's worth understanding why other people like certain things or dislike certain things, instead of just dismissing it altogether. And that was something that I think is important, especially if you are a creator. And I think that on some level, we all are. It doesn't have to be that we make movies or we're making art or we're making music, but we are creating in our own way. We're creating friendships, we're creating bonds, we're creating stories that we will then tell to others. And I think being open and accessible to all different kinds of art, even if you don't deem it as such, is important at crafting you as a better creator, as a better storyteller, as a better person. So I've, I've, I've focused on that a lot. That was one thing that I did. Another thing was being more kind to myself, because I am very hard on myself, but understanding that there are limitations, but that doesn't mean that I have to stop. Something that is limiting forces you to then find a way around it, to be creative, right? I'm sure you've experienced this in a lot of things that you've tried to do. There'll be a roadblock, but that shouldn't just make you drive back home. You should figure out how do you get around it? How do you deal with that and make things better? You know, when I was going through treatment, it would have been very easy. And sometimes I wanted to just give up and be like, why am I fighting so hard? Why am I doing this? What's the point? If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. But I didn't because there was more that I wanted to do. I think it's, it's, and I'm not trying to say that I'm some sort of saint or I'm amazing, because I think lots of people do this. And, and why do we do that? Why do we fight? For me, personally, I can only talk about myself is because I wanted to do more. I wanted to be better. I wanted to have more connections with people. I wanted to create more things that could be a memory of me. That was a thought that I had a lot. When I die, what will people think of me? What will I be remembered for? And maybe it's a bit selfish. Maybe it's a bit narcissistic, but I, I want to leave this planet better than I found it, better than I came into it. And that could be in the most minuscule way, but it's an impact, it's something small, it's that little chip on the stone, and that's what's important. Somebody will see that. No matter how large or small, it will be seen. And so I'm going all over the place here, so what did I learn? I, I learned to be more accepting, I learned to not be dismissive, I learned to be more compassionate to others, not that I wasn't before, but in a different understanding of it where we've all gone through things. We've all had terrible things happen to us. It could be from a bad relationship or a bad grade on a test or some sort of health scare or what we're currently going through right now. We all go through stuff that is terrible. And it might not be as terrible as this other person's, but to you it is, and that's fine. That's totally fine. Because you're the one who has to deal with it. Right, it's your pain that you have to carry, not somebody else's. But in thinking that you also need to be aware that other people have pain, other people have problems, and you need to be considerate and kind towards that. So that's, I wish I could, I wish I could fashion what I, what's in my head in a more cohesive way, but I, I just can't. So hopefully from this rambling mess, you can take that, interpret it into something that makes sense, <laughs> that is, is uh, logical and well-spoken. Be grateful for what you have, for what you had, no matter if it was bad or good, it's shaped you into who you are. It got you to the point you're at right now watching this. And that version of you is you. And maybe there's things you wanna fix. Maybe there's stuff that you wanna change about your personality, about the way you look, about the way you feel, about the people around you, about the situation that you're in. But not everything's gonna happen overnight. But if you're aware of it, and if you're motivated enough to try and work on it, then you can. And it'll be, again, just like that chip in the rock. It'll be incremental changes. Where am I going with this? I don't know. I kind of went off on a tangent there. Also, it's incredibly hot in this room. I think that's, that's kind of all I wanted to say about this. I just wanted to get it out there, especially with everything that's happening in the world. Not that my voice is more important than others, but I do have a platform and, I, and I'm, and I'm going to use it. So there we go. Okay. Well, yay! For something a little bit more uplifting, like I said, uh, if you want, check out my Twitch. I'll be streaming currently. Uh, if you happen to catch this when this video has just been made public, uh, and then I'll shave this baby off next week. We'll see what I look like under here. Probably just a bunch of pudding. All right. Okay. That's that. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I, I very much appreciate it. It's just nice to 
get it off my chest. Uh, but, like I said at the beginning, I hope that you're doing okay. Or at least the best that you can, given the circumstances. Uh, da -da 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 -da. That's it. Link's down there. Um, I respect you. I love you. And remember, it's not goodbye. Oh, no. It's never goodbye. It's... Thank you.